guys. This is Jason at Mustang Rehab. Uh, good morning. I don't know about you guys, but the shop in the morning when the girls are sleeping, the temperature is perfect. I love this is this is my happy spot. And when it's sort of guilt free that they can sleep, I can get out here and work and this is this is really what I enjoy. Uh, this, this is my my safe haven when I need to get away from things. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, hopefully, some of you guys have got the same place. You know, this is you know, you understand the feeling that I get when I'm out here. This is I'm I'm happy. So, anyways, we're gonna. We've got all this mocked in place, kick panels both sides, A pillars on both sides, and possibly get it welded in. Uh, but I'm going to have to pull some of this off now so I can drill out spot welds around the wheel houses and just move forward. But uh, I promised Journey that I would continue filming if I do anything new. So this is for her and for you guys if it helps. got the apron removed. I've got it separated. I'm going to keep the wheel houses because they're in good shape. I'm replacing the radiator support so I left enough material where I could lay the, the new apron on it. Again, I try to keep as many pieces in place so I can just sort of keep running my metal to it and then as I get to it I'll replace it uh, systematically rather than just blow it all apart. So. Uh, I'm just going to dolly out a few of these spots that I drilled out and get it ready and we'll set the panel up here and see what it looks like. I wanted to show you guys what we've got now with the apron on. That actually went into place really well. And then the part we built. The rocker's a nightmare, honestly. It was not formed right. Okay guys, uh, now it's time to weld our apron into our cow. So I've got this, this apron fit really nice. I'm very satisfied. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark right here on the inside of the cow so I can get these spot welds filled and then we'll take our kick panel and I'll set it back up here and then mark the inside and then I know I can just step over about three quarters of an inch and put spot welds on the outside of the cow, on the outside of the kick panel to the cow here. What I'm trying to do is limit how many holes I put through the kick panel itself because that's going to be seen from inside the Bronco and um, like if you look over there you, you don't want to have to drill a whole bunch of holes in that because you know this is the kind of stuff that people see when they're sitting in your Bronco driving around all these uh, spot welds will be hidden behind the fender Alright, so there's spot welds that are put in. See my mark I was talking about? I marked it and then I transferred it to my kick panel. And so now I know this is the edge, this is the where it's the vertical section of the cow. So what I can do now is put a couple spot welds right over here. A little bit closer and what it, what it does is this puts it right on top of the seam of the cowl and the apron so I'm not just welding to the apron so I tie all three of these together so I'm gonna add you know, I know they're gonna be sort of stacked in there but I would rather have a little bit of extra weld and make this uh, make the structure really sound 
But you can see I already drilled out. This will be all my spot welds for the apron. Spot welds for the uh, pan assembly. And then the rest, of course, is everything else that's existing that I weld from behind. I guess I, I did weld, I might drill holes along this inside edge where my A pillar is going to go. But the rest of the welding to the cowl itself will all be from the other components. Everything's spot welded in except for the outer cover on the A pillar. I just wanted to show you how I did it. You know, we talked about it, but uh, to show you, these welds here are all into the floor pan assembly. This here is just spot welds on top. I had to sort of spot weld those first. You see, it's got a row. I just put two rows in it to attach this to the cow panel, the kick panel. And then the hinges, of course, I was, we talked about the hinges just being in a terrible location. You could see I had to open this hole up because this was probably a half to three quarters of an inch off. It was really bad. But anyways, it's pushed back, put in place. So I have adjustment in the hinge and the nut plate there. Top one fit much better, but I still had to cut it loose. Get it where it needs to be. Spot welds across the top. Nice crisp. Let's see if I get that focus. Uh, seam here, looks really nice. And I haven't ground on any of these yet. I haven't cleaned them up. You can see where it's spot welded through. Hey guys, um, it's been a long day. We put in the kick panels today and A pillars and we're able to get all that connected to my floor pan. So I figured I had a little extra time, or well, some time left this afternoon. I went ahead and started fitting my front repair panels. I'm gonna put in uh, the forward firewall panels. If you kind of see what I'm doing here, you see these weird notches. Um, it was just some spots that uh, it was a little bit more rusted out. So what I did is just cut the bat out and once the body is back together and everything and the, the Bronco is one piece again instead of two pieces, I can put it back on the rotisserie. I'll flip it over and I'll just make little patch panels for that and, and it'll just be aesthetic really um, because I'm gonna seam weld the pans in. So don't don't laugh at that, it, it'll be dressed out. Like I said, you, we do all that work when we can flip it upside down and make it pretty. But uh, the way I did this, uh, they come with really long, real, real wide areas, you know, where you can trim depending on your level of rust in your Bronco and I had to I couldn't find just a forward firewall piece so I had to buy the whole piece and cut it off but uh, I got these fit fit pretty well They're gonna, they'll drop in pull them down tight and then I'll, I'm just gonna weld them out all the way around so they'll be one piece again passenger side sort of the same In. It's going to have a nice clean look. It'll have a little seam seal around the tops and the edges. But uh, fits real good. So we're going to get these stuck in, do some welding, and uh, I'm sure Joni will pop in and out with the camera and you'll see sort of the as we progress through it and see how it looks. I forgot to drill in my spot weld holes in the cowl for the panel. What I'll do is take a sharpie, mark the wall, and then I know my spot wells need to be below it, like so. Might be in the way. All right, we've got our holes in the kick panel. And what that'll do? Those holes will weld to this lip on the side of this repair panel. So once that's in place, 
we've got something now we can weld to. Alright, we've got passenger sides welded in on three sides. I think I'm a, I'll like the finish if I weld the bottom or the front side on the bottom. So I think I'm going to hold off on welding the bottom seam. It'll look better. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this driver's side done. We've got the driver's side and passenger side floor pans welded in now. Wasn't, wasn't a bad job. It's just you know, you gotta, you gotta work slow with it. You can't just lay it in like you would want to. It's just it's more like a spot weld over and over and over and over and over. I haven't ground it yet, uh, cleaned it up any, but uh, I went around two sides fully seamed, spot welded it to the kick panels. And then, like I said earlier, I want to weld underneath and I can't flip the Bronco yet to get to that. So, I'm probably going to stop there for now, and we'll revisit it and get it welded up. But, uh, so I think we're going to stick the rockers on real quick with some screws. I might do a little bit of welding and see how they look. All right, the rocker panels, uh, I don't know how many of you have, have done them, but these didn't fit at all. So I'll show you some of the things I had to do. I basically drilled all the spot welds out along the seam. And I'm going to turn it to the inside. And you can see where they were. I had to lower the this top piece, um, this top panel, down into the rocker a little bit. It was way off. Uh, it wasn't even close. It's better now, uh, something else on the ends. I had to split the end right here because this bend they put in it was much, it was way too wide to fit the B pillar like it's supposed to. So you see, I don't have it welded up yet. Roll it in there, but. So I split it, took a, like a triangle out of it and then pushed it back against it. Sorry, I know I'm getting dizzy. But basically I had to do that to both ends. So, trying to make these things work. So we'll stick it on, see how it looks. All right, I've got the rocker sort of pushed on here. It's still loose. It's, uh, I've got it. Sorry, all the noise. I've got it, as, it's a real snug fit. You can see how tight it fits against the quarter. And uh, so that's what I'm working on. I'm going to try to get it straightened out here. I've had it on a couple times, but it was before I removed the A pillar. So we're going to see if we can get this thing lined back up where it looks decent. Tomorrow, I might get spunky and come out and hang a hang a door on it and just see see how it's looking. So we're nice and flat across here. That's come out. The rocker's on. It's I say it's on. I've got some screws in it. Just want you guys to sort of see the pre-fit. Straight across the top, we're really snug up against the A pillar there. I still need to trim right along in here and then weld that back up. I can't do the the back side yet because I'm I'm gonna replace the B pillars too. You know, as far as measurements, you know, everything went in. I'm I'm a little tight down here and it's a little concerning to me where your fender rolls by. I'll work on that. I think I'm gonna attempt to get the bolts out of the <laughs> out of the hinges on the doors. 
they're stuck right now and of course I'm sure you've all run into that too so I don't know if it's going to be torch or drill them out or what I'm going to do but I need to get the hinges off so I can put them back in the door so I can hang the door. I'll probably in the next video. I'm getting a little tired. All right. Hopefully I've helped you guys here. Maybe see what you're up against if you're going to try, if you're going to install floor pans, rockers, r restore Bronco. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the kind comments. You know, it's been real nice. Uh, so uh, like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Have a good day.